Welcome, this is the Crazy Man 7777 here, and today we are looking at uh, update 3.3 for World Tanks on the console, also known as Typhoon. Now, uh, for those of you who are paying attention there, we have a uh, T95 Chieftain in the background for this update, and you can pretty much uh, see what that what's going on with that. That's the next hero tank. Uh, I'm not going to go for explaining exactly how to get the thing yet because it's a little bit hard uh, without this one is going to require another tank that's going to be added over the weekend uh, for free for everybody for a little bit uh, so we're not going to go there yet uh, we're just going to go for looking at what I can show you uh, but first uh, a couple of other things I can't quite show you yet uh, the reason why this map, this one is called Typhoon, is because there is actually a new Typhoon weather variant uh, on Pacific Island for console only. And we also, uh, speaking of maps, have a, a map called Thipeval Ridge, a World War One trench map um, with a little bit of a World War Two flair because it's a uh, World Tanks. So uh, here we are. You can see the hundred years. Uh, Thank you, Mark. Thanking the Mark One tank. Might be able to guess what the premium tank is going to be. Uh, that's going to be added on the weekend. But anyway, that aside, I have a couple of things that I can show you. Um, oh yes, I one last caveat here or whatever. The uh, rank battles are gone. I'm not sure if I explained those, but the rank battles uh, are were being tested in update 3.2 and now they are off to the races for further testing so uh, let's check mouse what we have now uh, is actually current for the um, next planned update 9.16 or something for world tanks on the computer version uh, which I think is fun that we got this first and uh, oh geez oh now I'm doing everything wrong Alright, so we've got uh, the firepower, survivability, mobility, concealment, and spotting. So these are a little bit uh, more comprehensive stats. I, don't, I think it's nice because uh, they're a little bit overall, they're average summary kind of things. Help you understand a little bit more about the tank. Uh, a little bit more, uh, like I said, comprehensive than previous statistics that we had in World Tanks. And... Uh, with this, we also have a thing that is completely new to World Tanks. Never been in a World Tanks game before, uh, unless you count mods or something. Um, when we go into details, now we can see the different modules of the tank. And see the different modules come up with the stats on the left here. And you can actually see the individual stats uh, where the like fire, firepower, where it gets its stat from like the standard shell damage, near penetration, and reload time, all these nice, now you can look at the actual specific stats if you want to, which is very nice. Uh, can look at all the different modules, and you will notice uh, that we can even look at the crew, which is really nice, uh, where they are in the tank. And uh, you will notice that there is these colors in the background on the chassis, and this is actually, if we... Uh, tab over with a left or, left or right bumper, we can see the armor of the mouse or whatever tank you want um, and it will show you exactly how the armor um, is supposed to be in the game, uh, is read to be. So this is, I believe the actual game engine telling you what it knows, like the facts what it knows about the tank. So that's pretty cool. Can build some strategies based off of being able to know where the where the modules are uh, where the crew are and where the um, where the armor is it's pretty cool I'll have to say and uh, I've been doing a little bit of looking around and I have noticed that um, we also can look at the spaced armor so sometimes the spaced armor will show up um, seems like it depends uh, if it's a big piece of spaced armor that is over that's like um, connected to the tank then it will show up I believe I'm not absolutely sure on the space armor thing it's a little bit ambiguous right now so you can see that the Stug 4 has 20 millimeters of 
um, one to 20 millimeters of spaced armor and it has 21 to 30 millimeters so that's a possible 50 millimeters of um, armor on the sides there if you are lucky and uh, what I was saying about the spaced armor being a little bit ambiguous um, see if we go to the VK 36 or 1H you see like these little baskets in the back kind of thing those don't show up it, yeah they, they're not on there right there as you can see so if you go to the armor it's it's not in there it might be because it's irrelevant because the tank already has like um, pretty nice armor like 51 to 70 on the sides maybe space armor doesn't show it but like um, for example the uh, the freedom freedom has uh, freedom does oh does uh, shows it in the overall as a 50 millimeter um, the space armor but in the um, 50 millimeter category okay so it does show it in the 50 millimeter category so it's a little bit iffy all right sometimes it shows up and last but not least we have the freedom uh, in stark white and bright blue and red the color was a little bit um, similar to the color at the rear end where the tank isn't painted so I believe that uh, Wargaming NA decided to give it a little bit of a new paint job to look real nice and pretty so there you have it uh, as far as I know the only thing that I um, that I haven't talked about yet is that there's supposed to be a timer for the uh, for events in the uh, store so like uh, camouflage or something it'll tell you exactly how many minutes and hours and whatnot so oh yeah uh, one more thing uh, if you're wondering where we get our Centennial Chieftain from you're like uh, you know computer versions doesn't even have this Chieftain yet well here you go we actually have the Chieftain uh, now we have the Centurion Action 10 um, the, and the Chieftain in our uh, store in our store in our uh, tank uh, tech tree right now so you can get yourself a chieftain mark six and a centurion action 10 and i would say that this definitely improves the uh, the uh, british tech tree immensely to the point where i actually might do something with the british tech tree because i haven't touched it since i played like the the challenger and i didn't like it at all so this will be uh pretty cool uh Definitely like replacing the FE4 to a to, uh, piece of crap, and I'm disappointed that they didn't completely replace the FE215B, but I guess you kind of need that base for the FE215B183. It's kind of like getting rid of the, the E100 in favor of an infrared German heavy tank, even though they have a bunch of tanks based off E100. So I, I can see why they might want to keep the FE215B, but I still think it's crap. Yeah, whatever. I like how they they have this more more of them rather than ah uh, whatever. So there you are. Uh, those are all the little things that I can show you. This has been uh, World of Tanks Tuesday on Thursday.